The following financial information was extracted uh, from the accounting records of Bundo Limited, a public limited company. You can see the statement of financial position as at that date. Then we have been given statement of comprehensive income for the year ended 31st October 2023. Uh-huh. Then we have some additional information where the first one is capturing the, uh, the property plant and equipment at cost, at cost, and then uh, you can see its carrying amount having the accumulated depreciation provided. During the year that 1st October 2023, the property was revalued upward for a gain amounting to 1,200,000. That is revaluation upward. So the value of um, property plant and equipment, its value was... Um, uh, in, uh, valued at a higher, at a higher rate, at a higher rate. The company does not make any transfer for excess depreciation upon leverage. However, it accounts for the deferred tax on liberation gain. We shall see how we account for that. The income tax rate applicable to Bundo, Bundo Limited is 30%. Depreciation on property, plant and equipment has been charged to profit or loss, has been charged to profit or loss. Then two, during the year ended that 1st October 2023, Bundo Limited included, acquired some patent rights at a cost of 5 million. I hope you can see that. Any amortization of intangible asset has been included in administrative expenses. Good. The company repaid some bo borrowing, which had matured during the year, and issued new rules amounting to 3 million shillings. Required to come up with a statement of cash flow for Bundo Limited for the year ended at 1st October 2023 using the indirect method in accordance with the requirement of International Accounting Standard 7. International Accounting Standard 6. So class, if you are with me, we can start this question. And uh, we start with the heading. This is... Uh, Bundo Limited. Statement of cash flow. For the year ended. It's 31st of, uh, ended uh, 31st of October, 20. 23. So uh, that is it. That is it. That is the heading. When you're tackling any question under reporting, you need to include the heading. You need to include the heading. Therefore, we have two columns and uh, our shadings, we have to eliminate three zeros. So our shadings, we have to eliminate three zeros. So I want you to contribute very fast. I want you to contribute very fast in giving the results. So the first thing, when you are using the indirect method, we start with the first activity, which is operating activity. So the first thing is the cash flow, cash flows uh, from operating activities. Cash flow from operating activities. And then under cash flow from operating activity, if you can clearly remember what we had uh, learned from the format is that we start with the profit before tax. Now, can you check from the question? Can you check from the question profit before tax? Let me just to use that. Uh, give me the profit before tax for this question. Very fast, how I wish that uh, we do this very fast. We do this very fast. If the times allow, I want us to complete this question. So uh, the faster you do it, the better. So what is a profit before tax? You can see there are some people who have just joined. Uh, I will share the question again, but before then, for those people who started with me, please give me the profit before tax. Please uh, give me the profit before tax for this. I really appreciate. I really appreciate this is uh, chart. So profit before tax. Uh, of course, that one I expect to get it from what? from my income statement. And uh, if I look at uh, my income statement, I can see 18,700. Thank you so much, Simon, uh, for that uh, answer. 18, 18,700, uh, 18,700. So class, you can see that that is just a matter of looking. It's just a matter of looking at what 
uh, the examiner want a profit before tax and then we adjust for non cash item adjust for non cash non cash item so class in this case i'm not going to um to put all this here can you also remind us on how to get the profit before tax from profit after tax? Okay, that is a kerosi, kerosi. Yes, I'm going to remind you. I'm going to remind you. Uh, I don't know whether you will allow me to first of all move forward and then um, I do it at the tail end of our session. Is that okay, uh, kerosi? I'll just do that. I'll just do that. Uh, please remind me at the tail end of our session so that we are able to. We are able also to. Uh, remember what we are supposed to do in the case of a profit after tax. I'm going to do that. So our non-cash item, I gave you an uh, acronym and that acronym is DIAL, uh, DIAL G, DIAL GF, DIAL GF, DIAL GF. So if I come here and put my DIAL GF here, I just put it uh, here, this is presenting depreciation, depreciation, impairment, 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 of course, impairment of uh, intangible what? Asset amortization, amortization, amortization. I have a uh, loss on disposal, loss on disposal. In our case, I've not had anything to do with the disposal. We have gain on disposal, gain on disposal, gain on disposal. And then the other one, we have the finance cost, finance cost, finance cost finance cost. Now, remember, we want to adjust this profit. This is the profit that we want to adjust. So whatever that happened to this profit, whatever that happened, whatever that happened for us to arrive to this profit, we first of all have to check whether there is an item, there is an, an item that was uh, involved here. When you check at our profit, above our profit before tax, our profit before tax, can you see any item that is reflected here? Kindly, kindly, very fast, very fast. Uh, for the sake of those people who have joined, allow me to share this question and you take the picture very fast. You take the picture very fast. I just want us, if you are around me, I'll be able to finish this question because I know the importance of this question. So uh, for those people who have just joined, can you take a picture of that question? Very fast, very fast, very fast. Very fast, just want us to move. I hope you have taken. I'm um, um, very fast. Uh, can you confirm? Somebody to confirm? Confirm, confirm. Have you taken the picture of that page? Somebody, somebody, somebody. I just want to move. Okay, that time is enough for you to take a picture. A picture cannot take uh, long. Uh, you can as well take that page where we have the income statement. I can see my profit before tax there. Above it, I can see finance cost. I hope you people, you can see that finance cost that uh, we are asking. Our finance cost is part of what? It is part of our, our uh, non-cash item. Finance cost is part of our non-cash item. Uh, I hope now everyone is having the question unless, unless now, unless, unless now you don't want to have the question. Everyone in this room is having the question, is having the question. Is that true? 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 Can you confirm can I, if you have the question with you? Good. Now, can you check here? I can see above, above my uh, profit before tax, I have finance cost. And what happened to the finance cost? Finance cost was subtracted for us to arrive to this profit before tax. How much is our finance cost? How much is our finance cost? We want now to adjust these profits with normality. We want to adjust these. Uh... Yeah, but now we have very many people who have just joined and uh, they are not, they are not what? They are not, uh, uh, they, they, they have not done it. So I have to do this very fast. So you can help us to get the figure that we had uh, in our last class. That will be very, very good, Wali. Wali, thank you. So finance cost is 3,800. It was subtracted in that case. Therefore, when we want to adjust it, we add it back. Uh, 3,800, we are trying to add it back. And then we check, we check any other item that we are having here. And um, before we check any other item, before we check any other item, or we can just go direct, can just go direct. Uh, you see Wali is uh, telling us that uh, we had done this part, we were to go in the other part of what? Part of uh, investing activity. So allow me to move 
to where I have additional information number one, which will help me to compute what? The depreciation. Class, I want you to get it, uh, to get this very clear. I want you to get this very clear and uh, uh, have it, have it. It will be useful as far as financial reporting is concerned. The, pra uh, the property, plant and equipment was made up as follows. So we can see cost of uh, valuation and uh, we have accumulated depreciation. We also have the carrying amount. So we say that the carrying amount, the same as net book value. Carrying amount is the same as net book value. So in the case that uh, we want to determine the depreciation, in the case that we want to determine the depreciation, we need to know which method to use. We can use the cost method or we can use the what? The, uh, the carrying amount or the net book value method. So, and this is our, PPE, PPE account, PPE account, hope, PPE account, PPE account. And then on the other hand, I have what? I have um, the accumulated depreciation, accumulated depreciation account. So this is very important for me. I, I remember I gave uh, some people this work to go and uh, uh, do what? Uh, do debit, credit, Debit, credit. So, uh, somebody to tell me, my PPE account does it has a debit balance or a credit balance? PPE account does it have a debit or a credit balance? PPE account, debit credit very fast. Debit credit very fast. <laughs> this is an asset. It has a debit. It has a debit balance. Therefore, in this case, you have to check. Uh, you have to check um, the cost, the cost of our, the cost of our, our PPE, the cost that was uh, brought down, the balance uh, brought down, balance brought down, the balance brought down. If I look at it, it was one twenty six two hundred, one twenty six, one twenty six two hundred. So the balance carried down uh, should be on the the credit side, which is one thirty eight two hundred, one thirty eight two hundred. On that eight two hundred, on that eight two hundred. So I hope you have noted how we are uh, doing this. I hope you have noted how we are doing this. We are debiting, uh, or we are debiting uh, the balance that was brought down, and then we are crediting the balance that was uh, that was carried down. And uh, this is the position. The position for the uh, brought down is at the top here, and then the position for the brought down, it uh, the carry down is at the uh, bottom there. And then you ask yourself. You ask yourself, what happened to the PPE? There was revaluation gain of how much? Revaluation gain uh, is going to increase our uh, the value of our PPE. So how much is the revaluation gain? Somebody, somebody to give us the revaluation gain of our PPE. Revaluation gain of our PPE. How much, how much, how much? Somebody is giving us this. Revaluation gain, everyone is having the question, so you can as well check. How much is the liberation gain? Can you see still uh, below what we have on the, that table? We are told that there, it was divided upward and uh, the amount was 12, 1200, 1200, 1200. With that, with that, we are able now to go on the other side to uh, do the same for our accumulated depreciation. Does accumulated depreciation, is accumulated depreciation uh, an asset or a liability? Is it an asset or li a liability? Accumulated depreciation. Depreciation. Of course, it's uh, uh, an expense, right? Therefore, it will be having a credit balance. So the balance brought down, the balance brought down in Gapi, uh, you can see it is 12,600. 12,600. 12,600. And then we have balance carried down. Carried down of uh, how much? 19,800. 19,800. Then I can have my figures there, can have my figures there. So can you give me the, allow me to adjust Hapaki Dogo. All right. Uh -huh. Can you give me these figures? Can you give me this uh, this figure? Can you uh, give me the balancing figure, this side? I can see this side I have 138,000, 138,200, 138,200. This side, how much do I have? 127, 400, 127, 400, 127, 400. Therefore, can you use less 127 from this? 
This is uh, 138. Remember, it should balance 138, 200. So uh, subtract 127, 400 from 138. Then we get acquisition. They purchased. They acquired PPE. Acquisition. Acquisition. They acquired PPE worth 10,800. They acquired PPE worth 10,800. And we are done. Then we check on the other side. Uh, we check on the other side on the uh, accumulated depreciation. Uh, here you shall have 19,800. So if this is a accumulated depreciation account, the amount to balance here will be the depreciation. It will be the depreciation, depreciation, depreciation. So the balancing figure is the depreciation amount and it is the one that we are going to bring here. And of course, we are going to add it. Depreciation, we know that it is um, always done what? Uh, depreciation is always subtracted in our income statement. When it comes to cash flow, we are adjusting it back. So we are going to add it back to our PPE. It was subtracted from here. Therefore, we have to we have to add it. 7200, 7200. And we're done with that. We're done with that. Then we check any other asset, uh, any other non-current asset. I can see we had an intangible asset intangible asset we need to first of all finish this remember this one we have used the cost uh, cost uh, approach we have just used the cost approach you can as well use the net book value approach net book value approach and you're going to get your uh, your result as uh, the same result as the same for the interest of time let's proceed to the intangible intangible asset intangible asset account tangible asset account okay asset account so can you give me uh give me the balance that was this is an asset so balance car brought down balance brought down and uh balance carried down to be on this side so can you give me the balance uh brought uh brought down for the intangible asset 2022 that is the balance that was uh brought down then the balance that was carried down is 24 to 90, 24 to 90, 24 to 90. But there's something that we were told that uh, during the year, something happened, something happened. I wish that uh, somebody can pick it very fast and tell us what happened during the year. Uh, from the statement that I have here, from the statement that I have here, uh, statement number two, during the year ended that 1st October 2023, Budo Limited acquired some patents, right, at the cost of uh, 5 uh, million, 5 million. Can you tell me where should these 5 million uh, be placed in our account? Where should the 5 million be placed? We acquired uh, these uh, patent worth 5 million. Exactly. Thank you so much, Caroline. Caroline is telling us that we should debit. This is an asset. So our asset, our intangible asset increased. It increased. Therefore, there was uh, acquisition, acquisition uh, um, of this item worth 5, 5 million. Now, can you give me the balancing figure? Uh, give me this total. Give me this total. And then we say uh, if there was impairment. In fact, the balancing figure here will be the impairment. Impairment. You can see this will be above, above 24. Above 24. So what is our total on the debit? Our total on the debit side. Our total on the debit. Remember what we said? That uh, the... Uh, the faster you do it, the better because we shall be in a position to, to conclude this. 4390. 4390. So this has just decided to give me the, the impairment. So you can get the total. Uh, the impairment is 4390. 4390. Remember, impairment is subtracted, and therefore we shall be adding it back to our what? We shall be adding it back to our uh, we shall be adding it back to our profit uh, before tax. And then we go to the Changes in working capital here will leave, will give us very fast uh, changes in working capital in working capital in working uh, capital in working uh, capital. I hope everyone is comfortable. Is comfortable as a uh, Willie is Willie or who is giving us the changes. Whatever that we got, uh, whatever that we got, is going to give us that uh, very fast so that we are able to do what we are able to save time. So can you tell us, can you tell us from the first item that we had here, from the first item that we had here is inventory, inventory, inventory. We computed, but I said, I said, I say that uh, for the asset, for the asset, if we want uh, to solve asset, you just take the closing, um, 
opening minus closing, opening, opening minus closing, opening minus closing, uh, you'd be in a position to get your, your figure. So uh, why, why is it, why am I, ni nani, ni nani, ni nani, ni what we got, we got here, then we got something on receivables, and uh, then uh, payable, we also uh, got something. So can you give us those? Inventory was minus 120. Uh, so for those people who join, just uh, take the opening of the inventory and then less the closing of the inventory, you get it is 120, which is uh, an outflow, an outflow. What about the uh, receivable? Receivable, uh, it was 220, which is an inflow. And then give me the other one, the last one for the payable. Payable, tunataka to songe vizuri. And uh, then we see, we see how we help each other. So what about payable? 400, which was an outflow. 400, which was an outflow. Class, please confirm whether we are together up to that point. Please confirm whether we are together up to that point. Just type Y for yes, uh, whether we are together to show whether we are together. Are we together? Are we together? That's just simple, just simple. For the pair ball, for the pair ball, you do vice versa. It is closing minus opening like that. Hapa. Hapa is in Max Zabule, Abisa. Max Zabule. Now, in that uh, spirit of um, adding up and uh, subtracting, we don't have this item. This item we don't have. We don't have uh, even the gain and loss amortization. Uh, atuna, Atuna, Atuna Hizi, Atuna Hizo. So what we have to do, we can get this. Can you give me the summation of this? Uh, we get the uh, cash flow um, after work in uh, working working capital. Yes, cash flow after working capital. Cash flow after working capital. So you can give me the total here. Cash flow. Cash flows after working capital. Cash flow after working capital. So can you give me the cash flow after working capital? He 5,000 uh, acquisition equal additional information number Ghani, equal additional information number two, additional information number two, Asante, Asante. So we can have my sharing here in thousand, sharing here in thousand, sharing here in, once you see it, you can confirm whether you have seen it. Ukipata unasema, you can as well use the dancing emoji to dance. It's a, as well a milestone to, to achieve and to see what you had not seen. It's a milestone, it's a milestone. So uh, can you tell me, can you tell me the total here? Somebody is adding up, you have a phone, you can uh, add all this, all this up to this, then subtract this, or you add first, all the additional, add them, and then you subtract. 26,590 from Christine, I'll go with that, but I expect somebody else to give me that. Uh, let's compare, let's compare with what Christine is giving us, Tafadari. Uh, tafadari. At least do something. That, do something from your end. Uskai to Uskai to Uskai to Remember, you're saving this time. We shall be heading by uh, loud 155. Loud 155. So I'll just go with what Christine has. Uh, 26, 590. 26, uh, uh, 590. 26, 590. Then class, we were able to compute our tax. Eh? Uh, let's tax page. Tax page. Simple. And uh, interest uh, interest paid. Somebody to remind me the tax paid was how much? Tax paid, tax paid, and the, the interest paid. Tax paid and interest paid. Tax paid and interest paid. Very fast. Somebody, I want us to finish up with this. We move to the next one. Mm -hmm. Because wa wa they're working for the tax uh, uh, it will require us to take some few minutes. So if you can remember, or for those people who are available, can as well give us. But if you cannot remember, we can as well do it. Can as well do it. Uh, let's see. Tax paid was uh, quality. Uh, that was interest paid, right? Uh, I think that was interest paid. How many tax? Uh, Okay, okay. So I think what we should do, uh, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Let's have an account here very fast, very fast. Getting that three uh, total. Agnes, 
Usisao hapa pia. Usisao hii pia. Agnes, all of this, uh, yeah, even profit before tax. Yote, 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 yote. So, this is a tax account. Tax account. Remember, uh, if uh, we are coming up with a tax account, this is debit, this credit side. So, the balance uh, brought down will be on this side and balance carried down uh, will be on this side. Therefore, uh, 26, uh, 26, 590. That is what you're giving me, Peter. Can you pick your calculator or you pick your phone and then give me the result of this? That is, will be cash flow after working capital. All these cash flow after working capital. Zote, zote, kutoka hapa. Total from profit before tax. That 4090. Na mwenye 26. No, I don't have my calculator here. Can you people confirm? Confirm all this. Kitu yenye tunatoa tu ni vitu mbili. 120 unatoa, 400 unatoa. So, do all this. Confirm that. So, can you check our tax? You check our tax. The balance that was um, uh, brought down, ya tax yetu ni ngapi? Balance, uh, you can see we have two tax, deferred tax and uh, the current tax. 5570, 5570, 5570, and then our deferred tax. Deferred tax on the same, deferred tax on the same is 7070. That is the balance, the balance that was. Uh, brought down. People are getting 37,790. Uh, 37,790. Please confirm, continue confirming. Then we have 4230. 4230. That is in the balance sheet under there. I've done. Mm. Ah, yeah. Uh, Kristen, just confirm, confirm. So 42, 4230. And then we have the deferred tax on the same. On the same. Okay, I'm going to have a deferred tax, 6750. 750. Then there was an information regarding this. There was some information uh, that we were told that. Uh, however, it accounts for deferred tax on liberation gain. The income tax rate applicable uh, to Bundo Limited is 30%. So we want to get that percent of the, on, on the revolution gain, that percent of the revolution gain. So that was to fall under a deferred tax and people got something. What is that percent of uh, 1200? That percent of 1200, how much are you getting? How much are you getting? Let me uh, withdraw this one, withdraw that one, uh, 33. Uh, 360, so uh, 360. And then remember, in the income tax uh, or in the income statement, we had paid tax. 33. 33, people are giving me something here. I'm going to see this. Uh, 33, 790. 790. So uh, there was tax that was paid in the income statement, uh, income tax expense, 4830. 4830. So that one, uh, Idakuahapa. Alafu sasa kumbuka tunatafuta the tax that was paid. The tax that was paid. So add for me all this. This side naona ni mingi, obvious. Kama? Yeah, this side ni mingi. Ungeza hii yote, alafu tutoe hii, tupate uh, bank account. The tax was, that was paid yu tunatafuta pale. Interest tumepewa na Y pale. You will do the same, by the way. For the interest, uh, you, you also draw the same T account. Uh, you take the balance brought down. You take the balance carry down, and then from the income statement, you had your finance cost, finance cost over at it and it. Now, Topata, the bank account, paid it on that side. On that side. So, can you give me the tax? Interest to me pay a pile in Amtu, Amtu, I'm at 68 something. Go up, Sasa. 68 50, 68 uh, 50, 68 50. Yeah, 68 50. Interest here too. Tutatoa 68.50. Aya, ah, yataka yeah. sasa munipe uh, the total hapa. 17.830. 17.830. I hope you have started with that side. 17.830. Uh, I hope ni his side. I don't know. And then uh, can you uh, subtract this to get the to get the balance, the tax that was paid. Whatever that you get there is the tax paid. Whatever that you get there is the tax paid. The tax paid bank 
kuwa tunaita bank the tax we assume it was paid through bank it was paid through bank check 6850 ah uh, that is the difference ama ni wapi sasa oh so that was the tax oh okay 6850 6850 6850 uh, what about the uh what about the so that was the tax all right asanti so that was the tax paid 6850 what about the interest <laughs> the interest paid uh, the interest paid interest paid interest paid you can do it very fast because i have seen you before you are eager to do this and to know this i can as well do this i can as well do it here very fast i can see you people you are eager and you are uh, you are you are doing it very fast so let's do it why uh, why not and uh, we have to help each other this is the interest account this account so balance uh, that was brought down you just go to the non current asset under the balance sheet non current asset nikiangalia interest payable 4800 na 35 4800 na 3500. Yaani inakuwa rahisi hivyo. Alafu unaangalia income statement tulikuwa tumelipa ngapi? 38 3800. So, uh, can you give me total here? Total uh, and then we see bank interest paid sasa tutaipata hivyo. As simple as that. As simple as that. Hizi vitu hizi vitu ni rahisi hivyo. Hizi vitu ni rahisi hivyo. Mosso if you had a very nice background in the foundation level, it will become very easy. So, I'm be given uh 5100. So, it 100 we going to subtract and then we can get the net cash flow net cash flow net cash flow uh, from operating activities activities so now that one you take it to the uh, to the other column now can you take that 3790 minus the, those two minus those two so that we go to the to the next uh, part of our cash flow from uh interest paid is 51 5100 yes asanti so we shall go to the next part which is cash flow uh cash flow from from investing uh, activities uh cash flow from investing activities and i told you that we get that from from what the non current asset 21 840 21 840 people are getting 21 840 21840 asanti and it's a it's a positive it's a positive now from our analysis or from what we have we have seen that they purchased they acquired what ppe worth how much somebody acquisition acquisition of ppe hiyo tulisha tulisha compute na pia tumeambiwa acquisition of patent was it patent ama ilikuwa nini acquisition of uh, ile stuff uh, intangible asset intangible asset intangible asset hizo mbili ndizo zina to affect tu hapa hatuna vitu mingi okay how much did they acquire they acquired a uh, uh, ppe worth how much ile balancing figure tulipata kwa ppe account if you can remember ilikuwa ngapi sasa mwenye anafuatilia anaweza tusaidia 10800 10800 10, and that is a, an outflow hiyo ni pesa ilitoka if you acquire remember we are looking at what is happened to our cash and then they had uh, acquired the patent of 5000 and we are done we are done you're not having any other thing unless you give me any information that is giving me any other thing can you see any information i cannot see any information uh, giving me any other thing under investment so whatever that we get at the end there it will be net cash flow from net cash flow uh, uh, from um, investing activity uh, give me the total of activities give me the total of course it will be an outflow it akuwa negative ah yeah if that is 10800 you need 15800 even i don't need to be 15800 we are done then class we move direct to what direct to our uh, let me see the time ah mukifanya venye mnaendelea tutamaliza tutamaliza uh, cash flow from financing activity is the our uh, last uh, activity cash flow from financing activities 
this is easy. I want to show you another way to do this very uh, very fast. 6040 uh bado activity activity tattoo uh we have the aggregate the aggregate now can you go direct to where we have the equity the equity that is where we shall uh we shall get these items to con um, ordinary share if you look at the start ordinary share value was ordinary share capital value was how much 32000 i don't know whether you can see that then at the end ordinary share ningapi did they issue share? Did they issue share? And then do we have information? Do we have any other information that is talking about uh, the ordinary share? Remember ordinary share and the share premium is in a cousin. You can combine them or you can work them separate. So uh, this one, you go with that, um, that uh, analysis of, of what? That analysis of taking the closing minus, uh, closing minus opening. Closing minus opening, closing minus opening. So if I look at uh, what I have here, if I look at what I have here, closing is 40,000 and uh, opening is 30, 3,200. So what I share capital? So there was a, uh, you can say issue, issue. Tunaiza ziunganisha, issue of shares, increase in share premium, in share premium. So if I look at that, I have 40,000 minus 32,000, it will give me 8,000. Uh, can you give me the value of our share premium? Give me the value of our share premium. Two kona, 3,000, and then uh, Mwanzo tulikuwa nangapi, 26. Therefore, there was increase of uh, 400, 400, like that, like that, done. Then we look at the other item that uh, we have been given here. We look at the other item that we have been given here. Uh, can you look at additional information that we were told there was issue of neuron, neuron, neuron worth how much? Issue of neuron. It equal worth how much? It equal worth how much? Worth how much? 3,000, yes. And uh, additional information, uh, the issue of neuron was worth uh, 3,000. 3,000, we are almost there, we are uh, almost there. Now, uh, we are remaining with two items here. We are remaining with two items, and I can see we have retained earning. For the retained earning, class remember, anytime you are given retained earning, it will assist you to, uh, to get what? It will assist you to get, uh, to get the dividend paid. Therefore, let's open a retained earning account. Uh, I think I'll just use here, retained earning. Retain earning. You can have the retain earning account. Retain earning. So retain earning account. It will assist us to know how much. Um, this is debit. This is credit. And of course, it will have a, a credit balance. Go down. So can you give me the balance for our retain earning balance that was uh, brought down? Retain earnings. Just there. Just there. I don't know your um, retain earning here too. How much retain profit? 42. Can you see 42? 400. 42, 400. And then the balance that is uh, carried down, it is uh, how much? 52,770. 52,770. 52, then you ask yourself, what was the retain earning in the, uh, what was the retain earning in the, in the income statement? The income statement, retain earning for the income statement, somebody to give us the retain, Earning pale ningapi income statement here too. Income statement. Can you see the profit for the year? Profit for the year. Profit for the year. 13,870. 13,870. So from income statement, you have 13,870. And then whatever that you get here, the balancing figure will be the dividend paid. Dividend paid. So can you add for me this? This side for Mingi. And for me, and for me, the faster you do it, the better. And I hope all of us have enrolled in our classes. I hope you have enrolled in our classes and you are familiar 
of the ongoing offer. Remember, we, we usually have uh, two sessions, early morning and evening. Early morning start from 5 a.m. to uh, 7 a.m. So already I've been given, what are you giving me? I think Agnes and Fanya Kira Kitu and Anpatia Bank Hapa, uh, Itapua 3500. So this is the, the dividend paid, the dividend paid. Remember dividend is always paid from the profit. Dividend paid uh, of 3500, 3500. So that was an outflow. It was an outflow and therefore uh, we have to reduce it. Asante Simo, Asante Sana. Now we have to check uh, any other thing that we have here. Ah, great. We have this, um, our long-term loan. If you look at our long-term loan, they are uh, still fall under that. We need to know whether they paid. How about the revaluation surplus? Warimu, do we have a account, uh, account for the revaluation surplus? Okay, Wari Ameuriza Kuhusu revaluation. Revaluation, uh, we have revaluation surplus, 25, uh, tulikuwa na 25, tunafunga na 34. Tulikuwa na 25, tunafunga na 34. So uh, we shall look at it, we shall look at it and see uh, whether it will affect us. So let's look at um, long-term borrowing. This long-term borrowing, our long-term borrowing here. If I look at my long-term borrowing, uh, let's see what happened, long-term borrowing. Uh, borrowing here. Okay, account. So the balance brought down should be on this side, and uh, the amount is uh, 46,800. 800. And then we have balance carried down of how much? Uh, that's 7,550. That's 7,550. And then remember, remember there's a, there's a loan that we have issued. What happened to the uh, loan issued? What happened? We issued, we issued the loan. What happened to our balances here? Somebody, we rate reduce, we rate increase. There was, um, look at that statement, it will guide you. That statement will guide you. <laughs> Already Caroline uh -huh. uh, uh, If you look at that statement, if we issue, uh, it will increase our, our loan. So issue of 3000. So uh, the balancing, Balancing fear, that means they paid, they paid loan, uh, bank account, Waliripa loan yangapi. So uh, give me the balancing figure to one Waliripa. So loan paid, loan paid. Yeah, Waliripa watu. Waliripa loan yangapi. Give me the, uh, the figure there. Give me the figure there. Give me the figure. Waliripa loan yangapi. Waliripa loan yangapi. How much are you getting as the, the balance there? Twelve to fifty. Twelve to fifty. That will be an outflow. Twelve to fifty. It will be an outflow. It will be an outflow. Then uh, I want to uh, to look at uh, the revaluation. There's a revaluation that one of us is asking. The revaluation. Remember. Remember, we had this uh, revaluation this year. Look at um, additional information number one. During the year that first October 2023, the property was revalued upward for a gain amount in space. The company does not make, make any transfer for excess depreciation upon revaluation. So uh, that will, the revaluation in the balance sheet will not affect us here. It will not affect us here because we told that the company does not make any transfer. So there is no way, there's no way that that revaluation is, uh, is linking linking us here. So in this case, I think that is all about our financing. So can you give me the total? Give me the total. Give me the total. Give me the total. How much uh, is our total there? Net cash flow from financing. I think that is what we are looking at here. Net cash flow. Net cash flow. Uh, uh, cash flow from financing activity. Financing activity, Ningapi, Patia Pali Musho. So that we are able to get then uh, the 43.50, people are getting 43.50, 43.50, which is a negative, 43.50, which is a negative. So with that, now can we get what, uh, uh, who was giving us, is it Caroline or Christine? Now, can you, uh, pick this, minus this, minus this. 
the three country after class share the uh, add info so that I can screenshot. Okay, Sawa. Uh -huh. So we shall we shall do that. So can you add for me so that we get net changes in cash and cash equivalent net changes, net changes in cash and cash equivalent. I've been given sixteen ninety. Been given sixteen ninety. Sixteen ninety. Class. We usually add. We usually add cash and cash equivalent. Uh, brought down. Add. From that you add, add cash and cash equivalent, cash and cash equivalent, brought down, balance brought down, balance brought down. How do we get cash and cash equivalent balance brought down? You go to where now we have the current assets, where we have the current asset, you have the cash and cash equivalent, and uh, this is how you do it. Uh, cash and cash equivalent, I can see we had 46 uh, to the corner 46, 70. But remember, remember, wakati mwingine utakuta kwamba ukona mpaka short term loans pale, uh, apo kwa short term, short term investment, not loans, short term investment, and you have bank overdraft. So you pick what you have, right? For example, here we have 46, 70, 46, 70, plus, be very keen here, plus, short term investment kama iko short term investment kama iko whatever that you get there you less what you less what you less what bank overdraft bank overdraft tafadhali note that but in our case in the uh, in our case here we have 46 46 70 so we don't have we don't have the other item uh 46 uh, 46 what 46 uh, 70 46 70 so can you add for me so that we get cash and cash equivalent cash and cash equivalent uh, equivalent uh, equivalent balance this is balance carried down at the end of the at the end of the period ningapi what are you getting add for me 1690 plus 4670 uh what are you getting now 6360 6360 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. and then you check you confirm with your question you confirm with your question confirm with your question is it balancing uh is it balancing you just confirm with the cash and cash equivalent as at the end of the date now. The end of the date, the end of the period, the end of the period cash and cash equivalent, I can see uh, for sure it is 63, 60. So worry and asema, we explain again hapo. Hapo tunasema kwamba, for you to get uh, cash and cash equivalent, all the cash and cash equivalent balance brought down. It is for the previous year. And uh, you have to pick that cash provided or the bank, bank item, and then you add any short-term investment. In this question, there was no short-term investment, but it will be dedicated there under the current asset. You add it, and then you less what? Uh, you less what? You less what? You less what? You less what? Bank overdraft. You'll be getting. You'll be getting that. You'll be getting that. You'll be getting that. Yes, Carose. Uh, so I think class that is marking the end of our. Uh, session today that is marking the end of our session today but for the sake of uh, kelosi kelosi i'm going to show how uh, i'm going to show how uh, you do it when when given what when given uh, the part when given the part uh, somebody requested for me to display the additional information so when given the part when given the part this is how you do it this is how you do it do not forget to uh, Enroll with us, by the way. Contact our customer care number 0719 uh, 525000 or 0793 555 000. We have both session uh, for FL and FM. Like tomorrow, if you wish to, uh, if you wish to join us tomorrow, tomorrow we shall be having financial. Tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah, we shall be having financial reporting uh, tomorrow in the morning in the morning so you can contact our customer care and uh, if you are retaking we say that you can pay 3200 if you are retaking there is an offer that is going on if you are taking you can pay that 200 if you are not retaking you can just pay 4000 and then you'll be in a position to be uh, uh, to join our ongoing classes ongoing classes so the pay bill the pay bill the pay bill is uh, 6242 
839 and then account number account number you can use the unit name common efl fm like that like that the short form unit name unit name report so Kerosi, this is what happens so for those who are going back to work feel free uh to read the meeting but uh, if you have to maybe wait for the explanation if you're given the part no worries uh you are also free for that you're also free for that so in the cases whereby you're given the part in the cases whereby examiner give you the part profit after tax this is profit after tax so i take you back to the income statement we know that uh profit before tax we less tax less tax upper so that we get what profit after tax so examiner sometimes will give you this when examiner give you this when you're preparing your uh, statement of cash flow whereby we have uh, the cash flow from uh, operating activities down there down there of course here you shall be having your sharings whatever down there just put your part put your part then remember remember that this part we had subtracted tax in it so under adjustment of non cash item adjustment of non cash item and cash item under adjustment of non cash item bring this tax you add tax add tax expense you call it tax expense so you shall uh, have returned you shall have returned this profit to the profit before tax kerosi are we together now do you understand that concept? Do you understand the concept? So you bring a uh, tax, you add it, uh, add it back under adjustment of non-cash item. Kerosi, are we together? And any other person, any other person who wanted to know that, are we together? And how about deducting operating expenses? Operating expenses now that is the i think when you go now in that route that is the direct method whatever that we are talking about here is indirect method so the, whatever that you're talking about uh that is uh, the direct method direct method are we together are we together are we together are we together asante so class thank you so much for having time to attend our today's session uh, we really appreciate. We know it's a big sacrifice. We are here to assist each other. As Anteni Sana, I have been your lecturer, Stephen. Thank you so much, and may you have a blessed afternoon. Goodbye. Is there any question?